Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now I was beginning to wonder why we, Elisha, ask Nehemiah to go back with those things. It dawns on me that he saw the sickness that have ravaged that hefty, mighty man of failure. Looking at him and he said, there is no point. And that's what we are seeing today. Like Gehazi who enjoyed the positions of power, but he was corrupt. Our leaders are stealing, collecting, let me use that word, collecting from the ordinary man, the commoners, people who cannot even get their activities square me a day. Yet, you who have seen it all, who have made it all, you are still collecting that which belongs to the ordinary man. You are still siphoning them. You are still packing them. Keeping them. Keeping them. Storing them. What are you going to do with all of that? You are living a discounted life. The Bible says, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his soul? His soul. I ramped up with this in Revelation chapter 22. If you start reading from verse number 10, the Bible says, He that is holy, let him be holy still. He that is unjust, let him be unjust. He that is feeding, let him be feeding. For behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to do what? To give to every man according to. To his work shall be child of God stop living a discounted life stop reducing your value in public stop reducing your respect know who you are the Bible said they that know their God they shall be like Mount Zion that cannot what be moved 